This week on the National Shooting Sports Foundation's Shooting Sportscast, we have a special tip provided to us from Brownells from their newly released DVD, Jerry Michalik, Practical Rifle. Here's champion shooter Jerry Michalik with some advice that I know will improve your shooting. Okay guys, now we're gonna get into the fun stuff. We're gonna really get to play with the rifle here and do some standing position. First off, let's talk about what makes for a good offhand stance. Uh, you're gonna use this position probably 95% of the time when you're in the field. So it's very important to actually develop a good stance. It sounds real easy, but there are some key points that you wanna keep in mind to make this consistent. That's the key word, consistency in your presentation to the target. You find yourself on a range, I just had the best run in my life and I can't duplicate it, it doesn't count. So you wanna be consistent in your stance and I'll show you how to do that. And it's real easy. What you wanna think about is the body mechanics involved in shooting a rifle. And that's overlooked because most people have a perception of how to hold a rifle, which means absolutely nothing. Perception means nothing, the score on a target is where you wanna be, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna break it down into the basic parts of how to hold a rifle. In theory, if I could fire this rifle right here in the center of my body standing square to the target, it would only recall straight back. I have my head erect like this. I have a wonderful field of view. I can't really do that. I can't get to the trigger. I can't see the sight properly. So I gotta compromise this as best as possible to make it repeatable. So what I'm gonna do, I'm right-handed. I'm gonna lead with my left foot, okay? My left foot faces almost directly to the target. You notice the toe pointing toward the target, very key element here. The next key feature of this stance would be how close the rifle is to my body. You say, well, what does that mean? Okay, here I am standing square to the target, and this is the rifle. You notice the pivot point really changes this way, so if you discharge it, it's gonna to wanna to torque you around. So to compromise this position to make it better, I'm gonna leave with my left foot, get it as close as you can, usually about a hand width, and I'm finding that to be my sweet spot about right here. You notice when I mount the rifle, and if I bring it down, it would shoot my left foot. That's what I want to have, all the weight forward. The knees slightly bent. The reason for that is it get, takes some of the recoil out of the performance. It makes the shot-to-shot -shot recovery a little bit smoother. If I was to get into my shooting position and to take a plumb bob now and drop it from my nose, it would hit pretty much on the leading edge of my foot. And what that does for me as a competitor, I have enough weight forward to where I can shoot rapid fire. And a guy my size, I weigh a little bit over 200 pounds, an AR is not gonna push me around much. So this is about as much forward as I wanna have on this stance. Another thing to consider is head position. What you wanna try to do here is to bring the rifle to you and not you to the rifle. You see a lot of guys hunk it, hunk it over like this trying to get a sight picture. It's not really a good thing. It broke my relationship to the gun. And the big distraction from all that is how I interact with targets from left to right. So the more you hunker down and the more you look through the top of the glasses, you've compromised your shooting position. You wanna stand tall. You wanna to try to stay as flat to the target as possible. So when you transition from left to right, you'll get a consistent parallel transition. There again, consistency. How well can I repeat this position? I'm gonna use it 95% of the time when I'm running different stages. So this is my primary shoot position. I wanna really understand it and I wanna practice this position a lot. When you find yourself on a range and you're getting, getting somewhat out of control and, you, and you hit, your hits are falling off and you're not having a good performance, just go back to your stance. This is where everything happens. Don't hesitate to change something. If you're having a bad day, Talk, think about your elbows, think about how much tension you have on your grip. Just go, just go back to the basics and start applying them back to the target and they'll, they'll start coming back to what you need. So gun close to the body, arms as far apart as possible. I want to lead with my left foot. Most of my weight is forward. The knees slightly bent and that's a good offhand position. A great tip from a great shooter. If you're interested, you can order the complete series of these practical rifle shooting tips from brownells.com. So go out to the range and try this tip this weekend. 
And if you're looking for a range near you, visit our website, wheretoshoot.org.